This is the Artist Series by Blackstar. Uh, we're gonna start out with a 15 watt. It comes in a 15 watt and a 30, and they are both amazing, and they're both uh, really, you know, they have the same features, but they both sound so different, and it's just different tones and uh, different power, kind of in the same little awesome package. So we're gonna start out with the 15 watt, and uh, we're gonna start, it's a two channel amp, and the first channel is the best in simplicity. It's literally volume and tone, and I'm gonna show you that right now. What I love about this amp too is preamp, you just go straight to the power tubes. You don't even use it in the first channel, which uh, just gives you a very clear, just clarity that is hard to get in some other amps of the same nature. So here we go. And as you can hear, it's pretty crunchy. Now, the cool thing is there's reverb. So if, um, you know, if you want to bring it up another level, I'm gonna kick in a little reverb. As you can hear, that drastically changes things, which is for the better, which, you know, a lot of people think that a lot of small amps are kind of one-trick ponies, and, and these kind of break that mold, which is really nice. And the reverb's very deep, which I love. It's great, too. It's not just a blues amp. It's not just a rock amp. You know, you can do a lot of indie and cool, you know. It's clear, it's fat, it's awesome. We're gonna move on to channel two, which is more of like a normal channel now with uh, bass, middle, treble, and um, it's, it's got a little bit more gain. It's uh, cascading into uh, more of your lead sounds, more modern rock, um, which is great, and we're gonna get into it. and tight, right? Couldn't resist. So, yeah, it's, uh, I'm going to kick on a little reverb, give you a little taste of that. So this is 15 watts, but the greatest part is if you're playing smaller clubs, studio sessions, it's the perfect size where you can actually crank it up to get all the sound and all the tone out really easily, which, uh, which is perfect so you don't have to deal with you know, having your high tube amp and then uh, in order to get a great tone, you have to crank it up, which um, I love in the smaller package. So basically right now I'm gonna play a little one of, one of my songs called Gone. And I'm just gonna run through the amp. We're gonna start at the simple clean channel and we're gonna make it all the way into uh, the gain stage. So check this out. Here we go, here we go. Total clean, here we go. touch sensitive so you can roll back and do rhythms easily. We're going to add a little reverb. It adds a whole other dimension to the playing that's very nice. Now we're going to move into channel two kicking in for a pre-chorus or a chorus. It's very nice. Straight into number two. We're gonna add some reverb to this. As I said with the dynamics, you can really use your guitar to kind of control the tone more than the amp controlling you. So we're still in channel two, but you back off, you get that great clarity. And what 
I did is I put a delay pedal simply just right in the in the front of the amp, and I'm just gonna kick that in and show you how transparent that is to add another quality. for a solo, straight up. Take that delay off a little. To channel one. And get that good crunch, that clean crunch. So really, that's a 15 watt combo amp, and if I can count, I've had, just with the amp alone, that's like six different tones between the two channels, which is pretty awesome. And I, I, we don't have much time, but I really want to get into this next amp, which is like the big brother. It's the 30 watt version. And although it has the same features, same kind of controls, um, it packs much more of a punch, you know, if you're playing uh, mid-size to even big venues, which is... Uh, really great, and I've been using one personally since before they even came out, and uh, putting it through the paces, and it rips. So let's do it. By the way, these amps are really, really light. They're like less than 50 pounds, which is uh, really good on the back, because uh, a lot of my other kind of tube amps, I was lugging around Europe the past year, uh, I dislocated my shoulder at least. And these ones are super light, super easy to handle. So here's the 30 watt, and we're gonna start the same way. Gonna just roll through the channels. Uh, we're gonna start with clean with nothing. So here's a clean channel, getting a little. And right now that volume's at about four. So you, as you can tell, you can really push it up and uh, and bring a little more. Here's just giving it a little bit more volume. It starts to like break up and get that really natural sound. Add a little reverb. Really nice, see you how know, blues jazz down. Yes. Now we're going to move on to channel two. And here, once again, is more of the gain, gain stage with, uh, with your standard bass, mid, and treble. And uh, this, one, this one breaks up really nicely. <laughs> We got the walls shaking. And what I did, which I never do, is I'm using the effects loop. And I've always been like scared of them as a player because I didn't know like if they really worked right. And the guys insisted that I tried the effects loop. So I did. 
reluctantly, but it actually sounds really, really good. It's really transparent, which I was really stoked about. And right now, um, I just have a simple uh, Boost Overdrive pedal, MXR, and I'm gonna show you the differences, kicking that in and off, and uh, the difference in the tone, and, and actually the way that it reacts with the guitar and the amp. <laughs> thing for me is I would always lose tone with it and this one I don't and I'm kind of blown away by it still really um, that it is still transparent enough so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna play um, a little bit of a heavier kind of Nam rock song where you actually like shred and stuff and uh, if I can shred and um, we're gonna play around with some tones we're gonna start once again on the clean channel and work our way through here we go Once again, on that clean channel, you still get a good amount of breakup, which is really nice. Check this out. We're going to add that reverb in. that transparently combines. Here we go. Now let's move into channel two. A little bit more gain, like I said. Here we go. Turn that reverb down. Let's add a little bit of distortion. some reverb for the solo. quite a bit of tone. Does it sound okay? No? Okay. So as you can see, a lot of tone in a little box, and even I was surprised. They're hands down one of like the greatest little tube combo amps I've ever had the chance to play. And one last thing, this little guy is uh, $7.99 on the street and $10.99 for the 30 watt. 
and they're worth every penny. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.